Sure. So how would you educate your five boys? Actually, I created a little school. <laughs> yeah. What kind of school? Could you describe to us? Sure. It's, I mean, it's small. It's only got 14 kids now, and it'll have 20 kids in, in September. There has been a growing concern about the quality of the current education system in fostering child development. Critics of the system have blamed it for failing to deliver a brighter future, fulfillment, and financial security. Now, it is on this ground that billionaire Elon Musk decided to build a school for his kids. So let's get right into the video to find out more on why Elon Musk took a paradigm shift in regards to his kids' education. The brain is a very powerful organ in human beings, and it is capable of the unimaginable. It can adapt to any environment that it gets accustomed to at an early age. However, the environment we grow into and the conditions we get exposed to can limit the extent of our creativity. It is through creativity that man has been able to conquer every part of this planet through inventions. In 1968, a team of scientists led by Professor George Land carried out a scientific study to find out the creativity of 1,600 children in an age range of 3 to 5 years old, enrolled in a Head Start program. He offered them a test to test their creativity. Later, he offered the same test to the same children an extra two times and an interval of five years. Can you tell what was discovered? Well, Professor George Land discovered some astonishing results, revealing that creativity levels reduced throughout a child's life. And surprisingly, it was discovered that the creativity level was at its highest, about 98%, at age 5. But as the children progress throughout school, the figure drastically drops to about 30% at age 10. Now, at age 15, it surprises that the creativity level drops to 12%. And it is no surprise that scientists reveal that only about 2% of the adult population manages to retain their creative abilities. Why is this so? You may be curious as I am to find out, right? Keep watching. Well, a myriad of researches conducted on the subject has come to one conclusion that the current school system grabs us of our natural creativity. It is that simple. You go to school and throughout the education system, teachers grab away your unique creativity, same to our parents. And then growing into adulthood, we get to forget what it is like to be creative. Now, this research that reveals how the school system negatively impacts a child's cognitive development is exactly the reason why SpaceX CEO Elon Musk chose to establish a school for his children. He didn't want his children to suffer the loss of creativity through the normal education system. When asked why he chose to move his children out of Los Angeles' Merman, a school for the gifted, and setting them up in a school he founded in 2014 by the name Ad Astra, Musk says, Regular schools just weren't doing the things that I thought should be done. Elon Musk, who currently has six children, five with ex-wife Justine Wilson, and one with his current partner, musician Grimes, hopes that his new school will optimize his son's cognitive ability. Located in Southern California in one of the company's rocket factories, Ad Astra, which has since been renamed Astronova, is currently open to the public, enrolling children from interested parents as well as SpaceX employees. All you'll need to do is fill out the entry form and get enough money to pay for the fees. And if your kid manages to pass the critical entry thinking challenge, you're set to go. According to the Daily Beast, the school curriculum is quite different. Drawing on Musk's interests, the innovative curriculum had no language, music or sports lessons, but students would work on complex projects, such as building battling robots, discussing nuclear politics, and planning how to defeat evil artificial intelligentsia. One of the most striking things about Astronova School is that it does not rely on the regular grading system of American primary education. However, the school targets to meet students' aptitude in real time, while using problem-solving methods to teach critical thinking. According to Elon Musk, Astronova does not focus much on theory, but rather on practical, which then informs on theoretical background. Another reason that led to Elon Musk establishing a school for his children was to enable his kids to get the best education experience he thought available. Well, that would probably be explained by taking a flashback into Elon Musk's life in school. Ideally, it wasn't anything close to good. Elon has since revealed in an interview with Chinese TV that his education condition as a student wasn't much better, saying, I mean, I hated going to school when I was a kid. It was torture. A flip through Elon Musk's biography written by Ashley Vance reveals that growing up in South Africa, Musk's life was very difficult and he suffered bullying. His low interest in the rote education system made him get low grades in a majority of subjects, but performed well in math, physics, and computer. 
but through childhood hardship, Musk has created his world to become the second richest man on earth. And to where he is, it is no doubt that he would want the best education for his children. According to Elon Musk, his major concern is to see his children get the best growth environment possible, which is way better than what he went through. I had a terrible upbringing. I had a lot of adversity growing up. One thing I worry about with my kids is they don't face enough adversity. And indeed, he has reported that his children really love going to school, to the extent that they actually think vacations are too long. They want to go back to school. Now, the move taken by Elon Musk is justifiable, considering that the current education system is not delivering what it promises. Going through regular school bombards learners with all kinds of information that eventually complicates our thinking system, killing creativity. Ideally, science reveals that human beings are born with two types of thinking processes that inform creativity. The first type of thinking process is convergent thinking, which gets in use when we judge ideas, criticize them, refine them, combine and improve on them consciously. However, the second type of thinking process, which is referred to as divergent thinking, gets into use when we imagine new ideas that are original and different from what we knew before. Divergent thinking normally happens unconsciously and is usually difficult to begin with. Now, why am I telling you all these things? Well, I want you to understand why Elon Musk decided to remove his children from one of the most prestigious schools for gifted children in the world and took them to his school. So, where do our regular schools go wrong when it comes to the two thinking processes? Remember, divergent thinking is the key to cognitive development. Now, this is what regular schools do. Regular schools teach children to try and apply both kinds of thinking on the go. And this, according to science, is not possible. And if this happens, that's if you try to apply both thinking processes, the competing neurons in the brain will get into a fight, confusing the entire thinking process. Professor George Land, however, says we can reap much from our brains if we decide to split our thinking processes according to several different states to increase efficiency. According to him, children can be trained to retain their ability and desire for creativity by encouraging them to allow their minds to run free while they come up with ideas. Thereafter, they can sit down to evaluate which of the ideas can they start working on that they consider the best. Now, that is exactly the basis on which Elon Musk's Astronova School is based. No grades, no bulky theory, just less paperwork and more thinking. Unlike in regular schools where students are encouraged to memorize content without knowing why they do so, Musk's system involves talking about the problem. The current education system has lost traction. It is not uncommon to find graduates loitering the street aimlessly with no job and no hope for the future. Therefore, Elon Musk is on the right way to bring changes in the education system. If his system succeeds, then it can be used as a basis for the establishment of such schools worldwide. That was it for today, guys. Do you think it is time to rethink the education system? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to turn on notifications for the latest updates whenever we post. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!